Hello YouTube and welcome to another general vlog video. Today continues on working in the cat's bedroom and we got to try to fix carpet where she's tore up the carpet. So I don't know how well I'm going to be able to film this with the darkness in here but we will give it a try and see what happens. Alright so one of the first things that we need to do is take this door off. So we'll get the screws out of it. Hmm. That one's not coming out. Let me get these screws out of here and I'll bring you guys right back and we'll get started. Alright, now that the door's out of the way, let's get some type of a plan. Um, there was a seam here. Let's see, I think I'm going to have to move that bed and take it register cover out. Alright, so let's get down there and see what kind of a plan we can come up with. Trying to get you guys to where you can see all the action. Uh, the lighting's not the best in the world, but it's what I've got. So, we need to form a straight edge. At least here. So that's what I want to do, is I'm going to go right on the other side of the damage. I'm going to kind of try to eye it straight. And then I'm going to try to cut it. I think I probably need to be on that side to cut it. So I think that's the first thing that we're going to do. I'm probably going to be in your guys' way. Let's see if we can't switch sides with the camera. Alright, now can you guys still see me? Yeah. Okay, good. <clears throat> so now... I'm just kind of eyeballing here where I think straight is. Now if you guys hear me yell at my dog here in just a minute, don't worry about it. No Snoopy. I don't want him in here where when I'm trying to cut. putting some pretty good pressure down on the knife. Let's see where they got me. Oh, not too bad. Uh, except for down in here. It didn't cut. Luckily, I can still see my path. Now this has got seam tape under it, so what I'm going to do is hand cut it right here, see if that does anything, yeah it did, no Snoopy, you'll get cut buddy, you don't want to get cut. And that's what I'm dealing with, I think, right now is that seam tape. There we go. I gotta get it out from over this. There we go. Now pull that piece off the seam tape. There's the old that she messed up. Now I've got a little chunk right here.
on this corner. I don't know whether to go back past that or just try to splice that piece in. That's where my problem lays right now, is what to do there. So let me figure that out and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I got everything vacuumed and cleaned. And I've got some pieces cut. Unfortunately, the nap is going to roll the opposite way. There's nothing I can do with it other than stop it right here. And I don't want to do that. It's because my carpet is two foot wide. And this is 29 inch. So 24, so there's four inch difference. So anyways, I went ahead and I cut this. And basically what I plan on doing with this is sliding this under here like such and then I cut this one I'm going to slide it up underneath here uh, about like such hot glue them in place and then take this strip that I've got right here Snoopy no, you're not allowed in Ricky's bedroom. All right, anyways, then I got this piece right here. And as we can see, it looks a little bit lighter. I'm just hoping to be able to make it look decent. I don't know yet, so we're going to try. All right, so let me, uh, I'll kind of show you my process on, I don't have an iron. So what I'm using is a heating gun. And I'm basically just, uh, I pull the carpet back, and I try to only heat up half. And I do that, and I've got a board sitting over here for my heat iron to go on, my heat gun. And then I just kind of push it right down to it. I have a tool up here that might have an end on it that I can use and then to go back and check it I just kinda hold this, oh yeah that's that's glued really 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 good then I try to get all the nap and everything back up out of the glue by brushing it all this way now, I'm not a professional carpet installer, not even close. I do know I want to take off that little edge right there. Yeah, I'm not even close to a professional carpet installer. So, I'm sure there's people out there laughing at me. But I'm trying it and you're not. So, alright, now I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I got it about basically where I want it. I'll pull this back.
I don't know how many passes it takes, but I can already feel that that's tacky. And I'm going to warn you that if you do it this way and you touch it and it's too sticky, it will stick to you and you can't get it off of you until it dries, until it hardens back up. And it burns. And notice I'm only trying to heat half of it. Leaving that center part unheated. Once again, lay this right down on it. Now, I know that ain't what this tool's made for, but I done lost it anyways. There it is. But it kind of helps me just kind of rub it in on that. And then I can also use this to put it back in where it goes, which I need to do over here, definitely. All right. So now that it's had a second to dry, we check it. Yes, it, it, it held good. So we kind of brush everything back. Oh, that there got a little bit much into it so pull it on back one little fiber there I got some fibers here you just want as clean of an area as you can for your next piece to get as much glue on it as it can so all right I'm gonna take a break because this next part is going to be nerve wracking. <laughs> very, very, very nerve wracking. And I'll bring you back when I got it done. Okay, there it is on the initial install. You can clearly see that it's the other carpet is been walked on and everything. It's almost two years old. Hopefully, when I clean it, it'll go away. I see a little bit like right here, but I'm thinking that once I start grooming it, and vacuum it and everything you won't see any of that so now I'm down here picking up my mess by the way so now I want to clean up my mess and give it a good vacuum so let's see what it looks like after that all right so there it is in all its glory uh, I can see it but barely I mean it's uh it turned out a whole lot better than what I thought it would, and I'm thankful for that. So, yes, I could have. Let me show you what I bought here. All right, so I ended up buying these when I was at Lowe's the other day. And they're a hardwood threshold that I could have put down and would have probably been happy with it. But this door used to stay open all the time. So, by it doing that, I wanted that seamless carpet look. Now on this side, I can see the seam worse, but not bad. So I'll show you another thing that I found while I was doing this. So I bought these for the cat. I don't know, let me get back here so I can see the camera. See all those, there's six of them. So I bought these for the cat because the cat had been clawing at the carpet. So these were embedded underneath the carpet. So it looks like what she's doing now is snagging the carpet to pull these off. So I'm gonna to have to outsmart her and hopefully she won't do that anymore. I just thought that was kind of a cool little thing. So let's get this door hung back up. All right, and there the door's back up. It closes nicely. So, there's that. And I got the register cover. I don't know if you can see that down there. All clean. We got a little bit of a wall to fix right down there. Uh, that'll be going on the next time I get the paint and stuff out. So that's it. So now it's on to the next one. 
which will be a completely entirely different video because it's going to be a different deal so let me show you it there we go you can see what I did was I brought the carpet down and wrapped it around and now this time now you normally when I put her in that back room back there and I shut the door was when I first got the puppy and the puppy was tormenting her and I did it for her own safety she didn't like it she clawed up the carpet this was now that I've got the pup I leave this door shut this is actually my bedroom we're standing in my bedroom right now and she was in here about 10 minutes and that's the damage she did so we'll get on that one on the next video so let's see let me try to I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see me or not but we're going to try it all right everybody thank you for watching this video if you like these kind of videos please give it a thumbs up comment down below like and subscribe once you subscribe smash that bell notification go all the way up to the top and click all so you'll be notified on every single video that we post or publish or live stream follow us on facebook under general vlog video share us on your social media pages and remember that when i ask you to subscribe it's not like a magazine subscription it does not cost a dime it's 100 percent free just helps our channel grow like a thumbs up to helps our channel grow with all that being said i hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night and we'll see you on the next video or live stream and please 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 be safe and have a super great night and unfortunately i may have got it done the way that i wanted to do it but i'm still my own cameraman and i can't reach up and push this this time so i've got to get up and walk behind you and gently tap you on the back of the head to turn this thing off so with that being said we'll see you guys on the next video or live stream have a super 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 great night